Beach towns along northeast Florida are doing their part to protect homes and businesses along the shoreline. Places like St. John's County are already investing in million dollar projects for dune development and protection. And they are not alone in the effort. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Ferrara joins us live this morning. Aaron, one high school club is making sure the dunes make it through the next hurricane. Good morning. That high school group is a part of the Jacksonville Beach Fletcher High School group, a marine biology group. And one thing that you'll notice if you go to Jack's Beach is one, you may either see this group building these kind of barriers around the dunes, or if you're there, you may see them already set up. The group tells me this is doing way more than just protecting dunes. Protecting dunes at Jack's Beach is moving to the next level thanks to Kevin Brown and the Fletcher High School Marine Science Club. There's a culture out here at the beach that we understand how important our dune development is. The beach necks, as they call themselves, are setting up these barriers to protect the dunes from being ruined. And it keeps the foot traffic off the sand dune, which can over time break it down. The dunes take the brunt of like the wind and like the rain whenever we have a hurricane and they help like prevent flooding. That was the case back in 2017 when Hurricane Irma pounded the Sunshine State. Took out 80% of the dunes that uh, held back the ocean and pretty much protected our, our residential and commercial properties. These posts will not only secure the dunes for future storms, but animals as well who call these spots home. These are some of the newest sea oats here at Jack's Beach. They're about five months old. But when you check out the entirety of the beach, there are about 10,000 sea oats planted here, and they're pretty important as they protect not only sea turtles, but also seabirds who live here. Everybody gets it. Um, people want to plant sea oats all the time, and we want to protect the dunes. Stretching to a community effort, including Jacksonville Beach Mayor Christine Hoffman and Councilwoman Sandy Golding to build the barriers. To Gabby Kraft. I love it so much because we have such a great beach community here and we all like want to protect our beach. One post at a time. This group also says their goal is to add these kind of posts along and barriers along the entirety of the beach in its due time. And the next phase of this project is to also add some signage there. Reporting live, I'm Aaron Ferrar, Channel 4, the local station.